Hello there, today we are going to be playing in the free version of Cavalry, this amazing animation tool, and you are going to be really amazed by the kind of stuff, the quality of the things that you can make out of this free version of Cavalry. Bear with me because this is going to be really amazing. Kinetic Type series. series. So let's start from scratch. I'm going to create a new composition right here with this button. I'm going to change the name just by clicking and clicking enter here. And if you need to change anything of the composition specs, you come here to composition, composition settings, and here you have all the different aspects of your composition. Next thing that we need, obviously, is a lovely text. So we select the text tool, we click on the preview panel, going to change the color to black and the font to something nicer like Inter here in, let's say, bold version. I'm going to close the tracking a little bit because it is a little bit too open for my taste. So here in character spacing, and I'm going to crank up or scale it up with the size, the font size. I'm going to make it center both horizontally and vertically. And I'm going to, with the alignment tools, to put it on the very center of my frame. So that's very nice. And as I told you, I'm going to play only with the free version of Cavalry. And to show you that, if I, for example, want to use the dynamics here and I hit this button. This is a friendly reminder coming from Cavalry telling me what is out of the free version. But as I told you, uh, we have plenty of different amazing tools in the free version. So one of them is this here, this duplicator button or tool. And if I hit here, uh, you see that this works very closely to Cinema 4D the cloner object. So I'm going to come to the duplicator controls here on the left and I'm going to change the distribution from grid to circle. I'm going to make this, let's say, seven copies, maybe more. Yeah, something like 10 can work. And one of the things that you need to be aware in Cavalry is that all the controls are here on the left. You can collapse the panels, you can even close them. And if something is not there, you just come here to the timeline, to the layer. You click twice and the controls are going to be there again for you to deal with. So this is a little bit too big of a size for the font. So I'm going to make it smaller, maybe bigger. And in the duplicator, I think I have a control, this radius here, to make them more separated. And also, again, I'm going to make the size of the font a little bit smaller. So that's very nice. And the next thing that we are going to do is I'm going to select the pen tool. And you just need a, a random line. So I click here and I'm and there. And this line we are going to use it to control the rotation of the copies within the duplicator. So if you go to the text shape, uh, the controls here, and on the bottom, you have an option that says text path. So if you throw the editable shape, which is like our line in there, in the text path box, you see that now if I select the white cursor here, you know, as in a lot of different design programs or softwares, you have a black and a white cursor. So you select the, the white cursor. That way you can select uh, the points of your path here. And if you move them around, you see how cool this is. This is great. We can just control the rotation and the behavior of our repetitions within the duplicator. So next thing that I'm going to do is if you come here to the layers, you see this button that says animate path. 
and I move the playhead to the, to the beginning, to the frame zero. And I'm going to click here in Animate Path and bada bing, you have this lovely first keyframe here. So that means that if I move forward, for example, to, to frame 20, and again, not with the black, but the white cursor, I move one of the points around. You see that automatically uh, a second keyframe is created. So that means that if you hit spacebar, you play your animation, we have our first very cool animation. I'm going to move forward to frame 80, for example, and I'm going to select the path and I'm going to change it again to make something cool out of this duplicator. And I'm going to move this second keyframe to frame 40, for example. Uh, I'm going to check this, hitting spacebar to play it. And the next thing that I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to come here to the composition settings and I'm going to change the duration of it, the length, to just 40 frames, like this. You click out of this panel and it's going to close. And if I play it, uh, I see that this feels a little bit robotic and that is because these keyframes are linear. So if I open the graph editor, I can select any of the keyframes and you see here that I have this interpolation, for example, so I can change this linear keyframe to a Bezier one. And that gives me this option of selecting the Bezier handles and dragging them. That means that the more you drag them out, uh, the smoother the animation is going to be. Yes, simplifying it a lot, but that's what it makes. So I'm going to keep it playing while I tweak these Bezier handles. That way I can check in real time, just like <laughs> how the changes are making this animation better and better. That's amazing. I even can like uh, hide this line here just by clicking on the this button that makes it visible here in my timeline. So I'm going to close the graph editor just by clicking on the time editor again. And you saw uh, how easy this was just like uh, creating a text, text shape, text layer, then throwing it inside a duplicator and you remember we created a line and we just throw the line here in the text path options and that's pretty much it so if you want to expand your knowledge about cavalry and you are well versed in after effects i really encourage you to watch this tutorial my cavalry intro for after effects users it is great if you again you know how to deal with stuff in after effects but you are new to cavalry i would appreciate a lot if you come here to my buy me a coffee uh, page and you can just <laughs> treat me with a coffee and lastly you can even give me a super thanks here thanks a lot and see you in the next one Okay, series.